morning everybody i woke up very early this morning i haven't slept my best because actually where did i put a coffee as you can probably hear i'm not sounding the best which is extremely annoying because this week i have what is that sound i haven't actually i'm not feeling really well in this week i have so many things going on this week i'm going to iceland to copenhagen and right after i have a long haul flight i'm going to qatar okay so the point is um that i really have a lot of stuff to do i did uh, two tests just to make sure even though i don't have any the symptoms like what's so annoying about it is that well i have this thing that i had who remembers in july a weekend before we got robbed i was supposed to go to a wedding and to italy and i couldn't i got so sick i basically was like allergic rhinitis my brother brought me water because he said i need to drink more water i'm not drinking enough water so now i don't have a bottle there and the thing is that actually you guys I feel like I'm getting back that allergic rhinitis and I believe very well doctor told me it will come back in September, October and it did come back in September during Paris Fashion Week, I just pushed through it but now I'm like, I'm, I'm done, I'm cracking and the reason is, so much has gone on, I still haven't managed to unpack everything we are kind of living how we're living, I have more work than ever in my whole entire life I promise you I've never had this much work uh which is great because okay let's give myself a little tap on the back i'm doing great but honestly yeah this morning when i woke up i told my boyfriend i was like i don't feel well can you call work and tell them that your little girl is sick and you can't come because um yeah not the best but I also have stuff to do today. I have to go get my nails done. They're so long and they're actually bothering me how long they are. We're going to Ministry of Nails to get my nails done because like I said, tomorrow I'm going to Copenhagen. I'm sure I'll get better by then. I mean, I'm a pharmacist after all. I'm gonna pop by to a pharmacy and I will make myself a little cocktail which will make me feel better which will stop the nose situation. Basically, it's just the nose. But once the nose is like irritated and once the like that, sorry, this is like really annoying, but that like soft, like mucosal layer of skin in the nose is irritated is the worst, worst feeling. I dropped this camera so many times this week. I'm surprised it's still working. So I look terrible really, but it's okay. I decided to wear this Louis Vuitton short puffer because I think winter's coming and there's not going to be time to wear it again. And I love it really much. Magda Boutroum jeans. I'm wearing the new Hermes um, ankle booties. The boxes are going soon. I'm very happy about that tomorrow in fact no the after tomorrow and i decided to swap the Birkin 30 that i've been wearing non-stop for 25 because i don't have that much stuff in my bag since my face looks like this i'm just gonna put a cap on and or like i would love to put a beanie on but i actually don't really know where my beanies are or anything i like so update finished my nails they are like a classic french i don't know if you can see it's just because i actually like i told you i'm going to copenhagen with one of my favorite jewelry brands and i want to have like a very classic um a classic classic hand i really love the job they do at ministry of nails i didn't do makeup this morning didn't do my hair i'm gonna go home take care of that but actually i'm gonna take it easy this afternoon just gonna do bunch bunch of admin work i have many contracts to look at many briefs things and approvals because even when your team grows which is amazing and i'm so lucky the amount of work doesn't decrease because you have so many things to brief and approve so fun times we are now preparing for departure well, hello from a different country, a different place. A very excited me because I literally entered a new dimension. Welcome to Copenhagen, you guys. How exciting to be back here, considering that the last time I was here was just before the whole crazy stuff of 2020 started. I was here for fashion week, but today and tomorrow I'm here for a very, very different special occasion. Oh, well, the hair after a head, not the most ideal situation, but I want to give you a little room tour because we just arrived. I'm here in Copenhagen as a guest of Ole Lungat, which is 
I hope I pronounced it well. Actually, I'm gonna practice my <laughs> Danish accent during this trip so I can do better. Ole Lungort. I think it's like that. Well, <laughs> if you're not familiar with the brand, it's the brand of this earring that you guys always ask me about and... Oh well, it's here, it's out. My favorite necklace that there's no day I don't wear it. I mean, I love elephants, first of all. There's like a special connection that I feel with this animal, but equally so. I really, really think this is one of the most special necklaces and pieces of jewelry I own. I also had the snake ring. I don't know if many of you remember. If I can find a picture of me with it, I'll insert it here and I will link all of the jewelry below for you to shop. This is not any kind of paid advertising. I just really wanted to introduce you guys to their world because I honestly believe it's a jewelry brand that is not like, not like widespread, not so commercial. It's not everywhere, but I think the quality of their golden diamonds is so incredible. I think the design is impeccable and I wanted to transfer that to you. Plus, I wanted to visit Copenhagen, which, by the way, looks incredible. So different to anything that I'm used to. But, wait to see this room. The room, okay, so like, I entered through there and I will show you what I've seen when I entered. Because it's... Okay, so here we got the bed. Then, there's this stunning bathtub in the middle of the room. But then, look at the bathroom. I mean, can, can we just like, you know, this is incredible. I love this style. This is probably like one of my favorite design styles, like besides the like, you know, like this kind of modern, always reminds me of New York or Scandinavian countries, if you will. Then there's more. There's like a living room area with something little in there. And there's more. <laughs> what? I literally cannot believe it. And everything is so beautiful. Like starting from these little champagne glasses. Look at these. I would love to have these for my home. I mean, even this little chest with the marble top and the contrast of the dark wood. So, so, so beautiful. Shall I show you my outfit, my travel outfit? Let's try here where the light is the best. You know like how Scandinavian style is always a little bit dark, a little bit moody and cool. So this is it, kinda. <laughs> If you can see it, I'm wearing again this Marcella London trench, which is like a puffy trench. Underneath it, I have a Balenciaga blazer, my hourglass, hourglass, hourglass blazer that I've had. I've had this blazer, I think since 2018, if I recall well. For a while, I remember going to LA with Princess Kula and uh, I wore it, so I believe it was 2018. Did I say 2008? I don't know. Also, if I sound a little bit different. I think you guys know at this point that I suffer with an allergic rhinitis that sometimes tries to like suppress me from doing everything that I want to do in my life because it kind of is a bit limiting. It's uncomfortable. It's not very like a pleasant feeling. And ideally, I should be spending time in bed resting. But I, I like I was so excited to come for this trip that it had to happen and besides that it's not contagious It's something that just bothers me and I have to go on with it, you know I got a full bag of antihistamines, so fingers crossed they help I've got the Balenciaga jeans, the Saint Laurent turtleneck and tire boots So if anybody thinks that I just buy too many, but I never wear them Not correct. Now also Shall we go through this? Now I know, I know like that 99.9999% of you guys are like the most amazing, incredible creatures that who I adore and I love spending time talking to you, exchanging what we love, um, discussing all of these beautiful things. But then of course there's like 0.0001% of people who just, I don't know, like, let's call it, I, I don't like, you know, saying that everybody who's saying something negative is jealous, but unfortunately in this world where there's a lot of materialistic stuff going on, people do tend to have jealousy when it comes to material possessions. So I would just like to say that um, <laughs> this is not like uh, I'm co me coming to Copenhagen to get free jewelry, as some would say at all. This is, I actually bought from this brand many, many, many times before. You guys remember, like I said, my snake ring. You guys remember um, that I bought my elephant pendant. Like I vlogged the whole experience and how everything went. And these are samples that they allow me to play with while I'm in Copenhagen so that I can discover them a little bit better and feel them. So I wanted to show them to you because I think 
Ah, it is so beautiful. I don't know where to start. I want to try it all. So first of all, they come in this beautiful, like a little travel travel box, and they're full of these gold and diamond jewels. But there's something that I've been dying for. It's probably going to be my next purchase. Let's see which this one. Okay, it's this ring over here. Again, if I find it online, I will link it below for you guys. I think it's so stunning. Look at this. And you know that I also love... I think this is a malachite. Yeah, pretty sure. So beautiful. Obsessed. So this ring is... I need it. Then there's the other one that I've never actually had my eye on before, until now. It's from the Leaf Collection. I always felt like it's a little bit too big for me, but then look how stunning it looks when you just, you know... Mm, cannot deal. Okay, then the snake earring, which you need to kind of adjust, but it goes all the way around. And this one is fully, like, full pave. Can you see? Oh. Love it. I actually tried it on a vlog before. Then there's my earring here at the back. Can you see? The one that I have. Then there's a single one, the tiny one. I'm trying to think if there's one that I actually have on my wish list. Maybe the big one. But also there is one that is like, has like a hanging part at the bottom. Oh my god, all the pieces are so stunning. I cannot deal. Shall I just put them all on? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I know that many of you commented about this piece. Let's like layer it all on, shall we? Shall we like play with it? Ah, and you can layer it more. You see? Like this. Mm -mm -mm. Then there's... Okay, okay. Time to change everything up. A quick change of the outfit and everything. I mean, look at this. I'm fully like... I, was, I couldn't decide what I want to put on. I took off my jewelry because I want this to stand out. I want to take some pictures. I mean, how stunning are all of these pieces? Please tell me. Look at this. Fully bling this is next on my wish list just to let you know next on my wish list i might even get it while i'm here because why not we're in copenhagen we're in basically a birthplace of ole lungat so but like i mean seriously oh, okay i need to leave something as well for the next day you know but i'm obsessed obsessed i'm gonna get my stuff together and we need to go Okay guys, we arrived to Ole Lungo, that's how you say it in Danish, flagship store in Copenhagen. As I've told you already, I literally like put on so much <laughs> jewelry on me and they just took out a tray of more for me to discover and um, we need to do this guys, we need to take this job seriously. I'm gonna like raid that tray now. Let's see. Okay, so this is the snake ring that you guys have seen me wear many, many times and it's so stunning. What's really special about it is that no two pieces are the same, if you ask me. <laughs> okay guys, I couldn't leave without showing you one of the oldest like archive designs from Ole that is now being brought back. This stunning yellow diamond, very different design, very architectural, cool, but I literally am so in love with it. And the collection is stunning, it's just stunning. So we have over here from the new Boho collection, which is stunning and I've seen it actually already in, I believe it was like June. However, I could not share it then yet with you. It was like a top secret. And it's so, so stunning. We have here, um, this is like the Ruto Quartz with inside, something called Angel Hair. Can you see this? Let me try zoom in so you guys can see better. This is the tourmaline. And look at this, the Angel Hair. That's what they call it. And I think it's so special. Here you can see it even on a bigger piece because it literally looks like a hair inside. Okay guys, we are in Copenhagen, I think one of the main Ostagade, I'm sure this is not how you pronounce it, don't like pay any attention to that. It is raining, but we're gonna brave it, like who cares if it's raining or not when, you know, you're in a city where you can take some pictures and you can explore. And look, and I have a cap, plus it's not like I just had a blow dry, it's okay, you know. So we're going to the Opera House, which I actually don't think I've seen before last time I was in Copenhagen. And uh, I want to take some pictures there, so let's do that now. We're here in the, I would call it like a port, a mini port, I don't know if it is. But uh, this is so stunning. This is basically a signature of Copenhagen, I would say, where you can see all those colorful houses at the back. 
Oh, I love it. It's really nice. And actually, I was here last time. I went to one of these cafes with one of my friends from university who remembers. We went for breakfast, it was delicious. But I was rushing so much because it was fashion week that I didn't get a chance to enjoy it. And that's sometimes a problem when you go to like these work trips, when it's fashion week, when you're working, you don't actually get to see the city if it's like a very intense work trip. There's gonna be raindrops on this vlog very soon or already. And at the end of this street, we're not in the same place anymore basically. It's very kind of like almost industrial I want to say. It's very design. The opera is that way. We're heading there now but uh, this is like reminding me a little bit of I think the closest thing to Copenhagen so far if you ask me is Amsterdam because nothing else would fit even closely to Copenhagen, I would say. So we made it to Opera. It looks spectacular. There we go. So beautiful. It looks a bit far, but it's there. For me, the biggest shock is, shock is that someone was swimming and it looks so cold. Like, it's not that cold. I don't like, but it's cold. You're not cold enough. As you can see, people are in jackets and stuff. So it looks cold to swim. The guards. I mean, basically, we just agreed that this is so much like London. This part, it's not every part. Like, every part is very different. But this reminds me so much of London, close to like the horse guards, you know, like a uh, horse guards parade, like where you have the Buckingham Palace and the guards and all of this kind of stuff. It's very London-y. And then at the back, we said it kind of is the vibe of um, St. Paul's Cathedral. Guys. Nice. Look at this. Oh my god. I mean, they've told me. Banana bread looks insane. Cookie. Oh, love it. Okay, we just found randomly this cafe. It's called Original Coffee. I really love the vibe. I mean, it's super kind of like very northern Scandinavian, but this is like the kind of place that I would love to come to to work from and it's just so cute and I'm having a chai latte so we're gonna try it now thank, thank you, you so much You're thank welcome. you very much let's see 10 out of 10 probably one of the best if not the best chai lattes I had in my life it's delicious it's tiger spice mm. Amazing. Good morning. Very dark because let's not forget these are the Scandinavian mornings. It takes a little bit for the light to come through. Let me just say that it's um, 8 o'clock and I have to head downstairs for breakfast because at 8.30 we're being picked up to go to the workshop that I'm dying to take you with me and to see myself. So let's go have some good coffee and Danish pastry that I've been dying for since I arrived. So let's do this now. It feels a little bit like it's dinner, not like it's breakfast because it's dark and it's candle lit. I don't think I've ever had a candle lit breakfast, but a wine, not now. At least the diamonds look really beautiful when uh, there's a bit of candle light. It's a mushroom toast for me for breakfast. I'm a little bit disappointed there's no Danish pastry to choose from. Like, nothing cinnamony, but I think this looks pretty incredible. Okay, we guys arrived at Hello Hope, which is where um, we're gonna discover the whole Olelunga workshop. And I cannot wait to show it all to you. small elephant pendant which is fully pave as you can see full of diamonds 240 diamonds 240 and they're each set in individually one by one and each little holder is like three three or four holders basically for each so beautiful yeah. every detail on there it has a little engraving on the back uh, a little I map see. of africa with uh, our collaboration with charity water Beautiful. Uh, where we make uh, wells, water wells in uh, in Africa. Yeah. 
So 10% of the sales goes to the water wells in Africa. Beautiful. Yeah. Honestly, that ear detailing is just so creative and beautiful, and it's something that I love to play with. What, yeah. Like, you know, when I'm a little bit nervous, I <laughs> grab on my pendant, and I love the ear detailing. It's very, very special. Let's see if this is gonna work, because I actually haven't had a single moment to finish this vlog. Uh, we returned from Copenhagen uh, two days ago, I believe, and right after Denmark, I arrived at night at home, I repacked my bags, helped my boyfriend pack his, and we headed to Iceland next morning. Like, we had to wake up pretty early, I believe it was like at 7 o'clock, and headed to Iceland, which from Milan there was no direct flight, so it was a bit of a journey. We are now in Iceland for a day and a half, where we're constantly like shooting, creating content, traveling, like everywhere we go, it's like an hour or two hours to like all of these insanely beautiful destinations but I didn't actually get a chance to finish the vlog and um, I was really sad about it because I wanted to properly tell you and like close this vlog by telling you how impressed I was this time in Copenhagen so first of all I it was not my first time like I said I, I went already to Copenhagen for fashion week and I love Copenhagen fashion week I'm always a bit shiny here Anybody else or is it just me? I, yeah. Um, so it was not my first time in Copenhagen. I already been there for Fashion Week and I really liked it. But when you go for Fashion Week somewhere, you never really get a chance to explore, to see like all of this, like, I don't know, like the port, like I couldn't even see it properly last time I was there. The Opera House was the first time that I ever saw it. And I took pictures there that was like, wow, that was insane. I'll insert a picture of the what that I took at Opera House, but otherwise the rest you can see on my Instagram. And then we went to the Ulelungo work shop as you could have seen we went to see how the jewelry is made and i love the brand i discovered the brand first by actually buying pieces and then they saw that i really loved the pieces so they invited me to discover it even more which always is like an incredible thing because you guys know that i love to buy good quality stuff and that i really enjoy getting them it's not just like oh i only feature what i get or what is part of my job or things like that it's not really like that it's always a bit more um let's just say that i'm not afraid to spend some money so um long story short i returned back from copenhagen full of like impressions and i really really am so happy that i could actually try on so many pieces i believe in the description box you can find many of my favorites i really i'm so happy like with what i what i've seen what i've tried what like i got really inspired and if if you are looking for some incredible jewelry pieces i really strongly recommend you check them out like i said this is not a sponsored feature this is not a like a video where they ask me to create anything this comes purely from my heart i love the brand i mean i wear it every single day as you guys know and um yeah if you're interested as well let, like check it out in the description box i'm gonna leave this vlog a little bit shorter than usually because we're in Iceland now, I'm actually getting ready to go into a shoot and I just wanted to make sure that there's never a gap in vlogging and I'm flying today back to Milan and then tomorrow I'm flying again so it's like honestly the busiest time of my life but I'm enjoying it, I'm making the most out of it and I'm very happy for all the opportunities that come my way so yeah, that's it hopefully I'll be able to vlog my trip from tomorrow this one was like a little bit too full on for me to vlog but i'll see you very soon bye guys